All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect, scattered abroad. I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. This is going back to the principle and the foundation of things, okay? In which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ordered us to do, all right? To seek wisdom, seek knowledge, and the understanding, okay? Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to go on our way. And mainly, you know, this uh, Proverbs 1 and 20 and down, mainly read it in camp. You know, starting off the camp and stuff, you know. But I want to read it in this sit down, okay? Well, yeah, this sit down. And uh, Lord willing, I hope you're edified. This is uh, wisdom, uh, excuse me, Proverbs chapter 1 and 20. It says, Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttereth her words, saying, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Now, wisdom is the word, okay, which, you know, scriptures call what? Sophia. It's the word of the Most High. It says, wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. And what streets is that? All right, that would be the streets of market, where people are gathered, people that go in and out, not in a studio, and you in the four corner room and you're doing the lesson, you know, on the camera, you know, but more so out in the elements. So it says, she cried in the chief place of concourse. Now, when you look this word, concourse, hama, it says to murmur, growl, roar, cry out loud, mourn, rage, sound, make noise. To moat, be clamorous, be disquiet. Excuse me. It says to be loud, be moved, be troubled, be in an uproar. You see? So that place of concourse, you know, just tapping into that word, it's a place where it's loud. It's a place where people are speaking, gathered, all right? To be loud, to be. Uh, let's read on to growl to murmur to roar to be in a stare be in a commotion where's the commotions at all right in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates to be boisterous uh be turbulent all right so they get the picture there so let's continue she cried for, she cried for in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city she uttered her words saying and that's in the marketplace all right where people shop your downtown areas today not in a studio because you got men who are saying or this thing that's going on that men the prophets shouldn't be out on the street teaching and that's foolishness all right and i'll say one thing you know where in the scriptures that the Lord said to not go out. Where in the scriptures did he, you know, close up the mouth of the prophets and want us to stop prophesying out in the marketplace? Where, what scripture is that? You know? So anyway, let's continue to move on. Verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and scorn is delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? All right? So only a fool... We hate to know something because the word knowledge just means to know all right and you're a fool if you didn't want to know you know especially something that's beneficial just like in the apocrypha when it goes into the herbs i forgot what chapter but i could find it uh lord said abhor not the herbs roughly paraphrasing you know avoid not the herbs because the herbs are beneficial to the body you know someone of annoying ignoring and being ignorant you know the fact of something that can actually heal them through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai so how much more this word okay to give you comfort in your mind all right 
It says, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and scorn is delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So the Lord is asking us, all right, to turn away from wickedness. And he says, I will pour out my spirit unto you. What manner of man, all right, a woman, which is the Israelite, that would deny the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that would deny the power in which created them. You has to be a goddamn fool, man. Excuse my French, but you gotta be a stupid ass fool. All right, and that's the two thirds. It says, turn you at my reproof, mean correction. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you and make known my words unto you. Precept come in mind is Jeremiah 315. I will give you passes according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. See, so he will make known his words unto you. He will make known what was taken away from you, which first off, the name of the Lord, okay, the true and living power, all right, and your identity, okay, you being of an Israelite from the seed of your father. And it doesn't matter about your complexion or your eye color, all right? If your father's line go back to being an Israelite, then guess what? You're an Israelite, whether you like it or not, all right? Verse 24, because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. How did the Lord stretch out his hand? By the prophets. That's why he sent his prophets bedtime, all right, morning, night, to go out and teach this word. So you can get the message. That is the Lord's hand. He's stretching it out. It says, because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at north all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear come. So for your disobedience, when the Lord is calling, calling out to you and you don't take the reproof, the Lord said he will laugh at your calamity when destruction come upon you. And boy, oh boy, we're going into that time of great tribulation of calamity, you know, which is called Jacob's trouble, man. You know, it's going to get rough, it's real, and very serious, you know. Especially those who have a family. Gotta say that. You got a family, I mean you got luggage. You know, you're not just by yourself and worried about yourself. You might be worried about your loved ones. So what's the right thing to do? Is to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and seek mercy. You'd be a fool not to do that. And we already know, as the scriptures say, two thirds of the Lord's people is gonna be destroyed. All right because they're not gonna repent and neither could they, all right? He that got ears to hear, let him hear. So it says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear come. When your fear cometh as desolation and destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. And we're approaching that, all right? With destruction, it's gonna come like a whirlwind, meaning fast. Just yesterday, for out of nowhere, you know, I, I hear outside, the winds are blowing so hard. I open the door and the garbage, you know, things are flying across the road, going across the street. And I said, damn, were we in a tornado? And long so after, brother, brother in the camp, Shalomar, he hit me up and said, when did New Jersey start getting tornadoes? You know, so that's what it was. And I'm just bringing this up because that was a strong ass wind, you know, that was taking everything by sight. You wake up the next day, you see, you notice on the news, certain trees fell on houses. All right, cars get smashed. Uh, 
uh, electricity poles halfway cracked, leaning, you know? So how much more the destruction that's gonna come upon the world that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is bringing? How much more that destruction? When your household get broken up, it's gonna be quick, man. You know, these plagues are sent, and it's as the scriptures say, who shall turn them back? All right, it says, then shall they call upon me, and I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. So here it is. You got foolish men and women, which are Israelites, who hated the knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. You know? Therefore, it says, they were none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. All right, this is Proverbs 1 and 31. And therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Now when you look this word device, okay, you look this word device and it means counsel, plan, principal, device. All right, so it's their plan. So they shall be filled with their own plan, you know, their own counsel in which they came up with. So it says, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. And that's what's gonna happen to men that turn and, and, and uh, turn away from the Lord and to do their own thing, all right? You know, it says, and be filled with their own devices for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever, excuse me, but whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell in safety and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. So we don't have nothing to worry about. All right. This, this is toward the Lord's elect. Let me say hopeful elect. You know, don't get all scared to the point where you lose your mind and forget about the Lord. Remember, you know, things will shake you up and you're gonna be tried, tempted. May the Lord exempt us from the hours of temptation. And also, you know, may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai give us that spirit of the Wah, that mark for exemption, all right, from, from his judgment and we be delivered. So the scriptures tell us and comfort us that we don't have to worry about this shit, man. Not to the point that the wicked do. You know, you're gonna worry if you know you ain't right. You know, I believe a brother said that yesterday, I think the elder brother in uh, California, I was watching this show, and I think he said that, you know, that's where it's coming from, because that's true. You know, you're only gonna feel, um, you know, you're gonna feel more so afraid because of the, the, the mind, the thoughts in your mind of you not, not doing right. You know, if you're not living right, and only you know that, then you're gonna be more terrified. But if you're living right in the Lord with honesty and truth and sincerity, faith, all right, then you're not gonna be, you know, afraid, man. You're gonna know and have confidence and ultimately the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to get you through it. You know, so that's why this time and this hour that we're in, all right, is to get seek mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, clean up your act. You know, put away your sins and do right and strive. You know, that's all we can do is strive. All right. So anyway, it says, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. And that's what is approaching is evil. Okay, it's evil for them to force vaccines in your body. It's evil for them to force the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. It is evil for them to force a mask on your face to wear it every day. Now they're talking about you need to wear it in your house. 
it is evil, all right, when they set up quarantine camps, which we understand to be concentration camps, all right, to break you, you know, to basically have you in there, keep you in there until you break, until you go according to their way. Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. All right, and if you don't know that by now, you sure gonna know it when he approaches you at your front door, okay, with rifles in your face and separating you from your loved ones. Esau, Edom, all right, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. So what he says, oh, that's the point. So, you know, with that, I hope you are edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. I want to read this scripture one more time before I go. Proverbs 133, but whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. You know? So, with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.